Good evening, welcome back. Coming at you really late this evening on this Veterans Day, Saturday, November 11th, 2023. I was going to do this video earlier, got sidetracked, and we've been gone for most of the afternoon and the evening. So we got a handful of birthdays and a couple of events to talk about. 1984 on this date, Atlanta International Raceway, Dale Earnhardt wins the Cup Series race <clears throat> for his second win of 1984. Sadly, this would be the race that Terry Schoonover, driving in his second career race, would lose his life after hitting the wall in turn two, sliding down a backstretch, and hitting the dirt embankment at the inside of the near the end of the backstretch, headed towards turn three. After this accident, the following season, Atlanta International Raceway would pave a lot of the inside of the backstretch and put up a concrete wall versus a dirt bank, which contributed to uh, Terry's injuries. On this day in 2000, Jeff Gordon won the Homestead Bush Series race for his final ever career win in that series. In 2017, William Byron wins the Xfinity race at Phoenix. He would go on the following week at Homestead to clinch the 2017 Xfinity Series title. So we're going to rattle off these birthdays really quick so we can get to the couple that we have cards for. I'm going to start off 1967 on this day, former Indy 500 winner Gilles DeFerrin of course, driving for Penske, and I believe he still works for Penske to some capacity. Not sure, maybe like a driver coach or something like that. Born on this day in 1946, passed away in a private plane crash in 1988, one of the best road racers of all time, Mr. Al Holbert. Born on this day, and I forgot, sadly forgot to pull a card of this guy, born on this day in 1941, passed away sadly of cancer in 1991, NHRA champion Gary Ormsby. Born on this day in 1977, son of former Cup Series regular Jeff Bodine, Barry Bodine. <clears throat> I believe Barry ran a few truck races back in the day. Born on this day in 1999, current, current Truck Series regular Chase Purdy. Now we'll get to the two that I did pull a couple cards for. Born on this day in 1957, former Bush Series journeyman driver Roy Payne. Roy drove his uh, own equipment for much of the time. Had Hyde Tools as a sponsor. Had a couple other sponsors here and there. Just uh, things didn't work out for the family-owned team. Not sure what he's doing today. And our second birthday, we have cards for. Born on this day in 1937, sadly passed away 2009. Rookie of the Year in 1965 and did get a Firecracker 400 victory in 1966. And he was involved in that spectacular crash in the 1960. Uh, what year is that? 1965 Southern 500 with Cale Yarbrough. The Mr. Sam McQuag. So here we have the 92 Pro Set. Oops. There's a good look at Mr. McQuag back in the day. And then we have the 91 Pro Set Legend card. I always like seeing these old contingency decals and stuff. And there's a picture of Sam from the 1991 Legends race at Charlotte. So that is our birthdays and events for this. Veterans Day 2011. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Sorry for being so late with this, but I want to make sure that I got it out before midnight. So thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow.